order to understand motion, specifically the difference between velocity and speed, we first have to understand what is position and the difference between distance and displacement. So I have here a number line. So this is position zero. This is, for example, position negative three. And then over here is positive. Well, obviously, if I'm here right now, my position that is my x-coordinate, is 3. Now, if I move from here to, say, negative 1, well, now my position is negative 1, and my displacement, let's write this in, negative 1, my displacement, well, I went from 3 to negative 1, that's a difference of negative 4, so my displacement is negative 4, and my distance, well, my distance is 4, because I went 4 steps. Now, if I come back over to, um, say, to position 1, well, now, obviously, my position is no longer negative 1. It's 1. The distance, well, we have to remember where I went from. I went from 3 to negative 1, and now up to 1. So I did another two steps, so this is a distance of 6. However, my displacement, well, if I started here at 3 and I ended up at 1, my displacement is now only negative two, because, I, well, obviously I started here, ended up there, that I've been displaced by negative two units. So there you go, that's the difference between distance and displacement. Now let's, let's play a little game and make a little graph and get our uh, velocities. So let's reset the, these guys. I will start off at position negative 2. So at time 0, I'm at position negative 2. Now I will boldly walk this way. One second has passed. Two seconds have passed. And now three seconds have passed. Let's take a little time out. So in those first three seconds, what happened? Well, I went from negative 2 all the way up to 4. So at three seconds, my position is at 4. My distance, well, I, I took 6 steps. And my displacement is also 6. I started at negative 2. I ended up at 4. And if we go to our graph, we can now graph some points. I started here. After 1 second, I was up at 0. After 2 seconds, we were here at 2. And after 3 seconds, we were here. Okay, back to the, to the game. Okay, so here I am at position 4 at time 3 seconds. Well, after that jaunt, I'm a bit tired. Let's rest. 4 seconds, 5 seconds, and now I move rather quickly. 6 seconds, I'm at position 0, and now more leisurely. 7 eight, nine, ten seconds. Great. Let's summarize what's going on in ten seconds, and then let's finish the graph. So, at time ten seconds, well, let's start with the easy thing, position, I'm at negative four. So negative four. And the distance traveled, well, started at negative two, then went up to four, that's six steps, then down to 0, so that's 4, so 6 plus 4 is 10. And then over to negative 4, another 4 steps, 10 plus 4 is 14. So a distance of 14. The displacement, however, is not 14. It's how much I was displaced. I started at negative 2. I ended up at negative 4. So I was displaced by negative 2 steps. Excellent. Now let's do the graph. So, well, what happened? Okay, I rested for two seconds. So at four seconds, I'm still here, and at five seconds, still there. Then, in one second, boldly move four steps in the negative direction. So, at six seconds, I'm here at zero. And then, more leisurely, march my way down to negative four. 
So, well, let's just go straight to the 10 and negative 4. And here I am. And now we can finish the graph. So stayed here for a while. Then went down to 6 very quickly. And then more leisurely to negative 4. And this is what the position time graph looks like. And the graph tells you the story. It tells you where you're at, but it also tells you how fast you're going. A steep positive slope tells you you're going quickly in the positive direction. Here, slope of zero tells you you're not going anywhere. Now a steep negative slope, well, we're going in the negative direction rather quickly. A not so steep negative slope, we're moving in the negative direction more slowly. Well, we can even do better than that. We can calculate these numbers. Now, let's back up for a second. How did I know what I just said? Well, the reason is I know the definition of velocity. Velocity is displacement over time. Well, displacement is the difference in position. Positions graphed on the y-axis. This is the same thing as rise. The, the difference in the times, well, that's the run. That's the x-axis. So this is run. Well, rise over run is the definition of slope. So I know that the velocity is equal to the slope of the position versus time graph. And we can go ahead now and calculate my velocities. Well, in this first section, the, the rise is 6, the run is 3, so I know my velocity is 3 steps per second. Here, there is no rise. My position is not changing. Clearly, my velocity is 0. Here, in one second, I decreased by 4. So my velocity here is negative 4 over 1 second. So that's negative 4 steps per second. And then finally, at the end, I went down negative 4 in 1, 2, 3, 4 seconds. So my velocity is negative 4 steps over 4 seconds. And that's simply negative 1 steps per second. There you go. Position, displacement, distance, 